And changes need to be made at Southern Oregon's largest concert site before the Brit Festival will schedule more acts. Newswatch 12's Tim Conrad is live now in Central Point with what needs to be done to get the music playing there. This is the calendar of events for the amphitheater behind me. It's for about three months this summer. There's nothing on it, meaning things will be quiet at this $4 million facility. Simon and Garfunkel won't be playing one of their most famous tunes in Southern Oregon this year, and the Lithia Motors Amphitheater will be silent for much of the summer. We'd like to see between 8 and 10 shows off-season, but again, it's a new facility. We're working some bugs out. The gates at the amphitheater are locked most of the year. Fair week is the only time shows are scheduled so far. The fairgrounds is working on scheduling more outside of the fair, but it is tough in what is a slow year nationally for shows. I don't think it's particularly difficult for the amphitheater to get booked. It's still new. We've been spending a lot of time marketing it. I was in Los Angeles in, in January meeting with promoters and agents, letting people know that it exists. One place that knows the amphitheater exists is the Brit Festival. It lends itself to booking bigger names, but not the biggest names. Brit directors say they will only schedule a show at the amphitheater if it is sure to sell out. If not, Brit loses money. And this year, it didn't book any shows in Central Point. We're definitely still open to the, to the idea. We had some production issues out at the Lithium Motors Amphitheater. We also had some concerns from patrons that we're trying to address. One is no dressing rooms for artists. Currently, trailers are rented for that. The other is no rain protection. An act can cancel if it's too wet. You know, we're not done building the amphitheater by any means, so we're, we're in this for the long run. Borovansky says they're looking at building dressing rooms. As for the rain, the fairgrounds will probably build a screen to keep performers dry. But until changes are made, the amphitheater will usually sit silent. Now another issue is timing. For an act to play here, it has to be driving up or down I-5 when a date is open. Certain acts, the really big ones, will not play at a facility that seats about 6,000 people. If they did, the ticket prices would be so high, no one could afford them. Now for the fair, those concerts should be announced in about two weeks. Live in Central Point, Tim Conroy, Newswatch 12.